Hi, and welcome back to the Everhot Kitchens. I'm Nigel Howarth, and today we're cooking sirloin steaks. Um, and we've got wonderful, mature sirloin steaks. They're six weeks aged, and these are off for blue-gray beef, which is sort of the beef that's in the Lake District between sort of uh, England and Scotland. If you like a steak, and lots of us do, there's nothing better than a steak served with a, just a lovely red wine sauce. So we're gonna show you how to make a red wine sauce. We're also gonna take time and care to talk about how you cook the steak and what we do to make sure that we're not gonna have our steak undercooked or overcooked. Ingredients, we've got shallots, we've got red wine, we've got beef stock and we've got chicken stock and red wine vinegar to make our sauce. We're gonna get that on first cut some shallots, and you can cut these rough. With our left hand, we cradle the shallots, put your thumb and wrap your four fingers around the handle of your knife, and bring the blade towards you. The left hand acts as a gauge, so I'm, with my fingers, gauging how thick I want those shallots to be. Okay, and we need about a shallot and a half. I need a little bit of oil and a touch of butter. We need to just caramelize our shallots. And you can hear that sizzling now. So we'll take our shallots, pop them in like so. I just want those scattered in the pan. I've got that on, you know, number nine, so it's on really full. So while that's cooking away, I'm going to season uh, our steaks like so. And I'm just putting the pepper on and not putting the salt on just yet. And I'm gonna put the salt on when I'm in the pan. And I'm popping the oil into the pan. And I can already smell those shallots caramelizing now. And I want that flavor into the red wine. Without further ado, I'm going to pop the steaks. And they are lovely, big, juicy steaks. You're going to so enjoy eating those. Once you put the steak in, just leave it alone for a moment and allow the steak to caramelize. We don't want the steak to be sweating because once it starts to sweat, it toughens. Okay, so I've got a, a lovely caramelized shallot here. So I'm gonna put the wine now, 200 ml of red wine in there and we're going to reduce that down. I've got some red wine vinegar here, 25 ml. We're gonna reduce it right down. And you'll notice I haven't touched the steaks, so there's nothing really difficult about that. But as long as you've got it on here on the hot plate, you've got it cooking really under control and gently, and you can see how controlled that is. It's a joy to be with it, it's so nicely controlled. You can just leave that, and I'm looking at three minutes either side and then we'll allow it to rest, and then I'll show you what you do with your steak after. The wine now is reduced back. So we've got our beef stock and our chicken stock to go in the next. Have the chicken stock in first, and the beef stock in second. And that's got to reduce virtually by two thirds. So to concentrate all the flavors, it's got to reduce quite a while. We're ready now to turn over our steaks. Another three minutes on the other side. You can see here at the side I've got a, a rack, so I'm gonna allow the steaks to rest on there. And that is probably one of the most crucial things about cooking your steaks, is allowing the beef to rest once you've cooked it to the degree you want to cook it to. We're gonna now take the steaks out of the pan and just allow them to rest now. So if you just put that onto a plate, what would happen? is all the juice would start to run out and it starts to cook in its own juices. Make sure you've got your steaks relaxing now. Two or three minutes, they'll be ready to baste up. And we baste up in a little bit of butter. You can use some herbs in there as well if you want. And then we re-season as well. So I've got a, a sink and another pan here. And I'm going to pass my sauce through. Like so, and then pop the sauce back on. And the sauce now just needs a little bit more reduction. I've got a little bit of potato starch here. I tend to use potato starch because I find when it thickens, it thickens quite delicately and it holds. So mix a little bit of potato starch up there. And then I've got a little bit of butter 
Then I can whisk in at the end. I'm just going to thicken our sauce a little bit here. Pop a tiny little bit of butter in there. And again, some seasoning. Put a knob of butter in there. When the steak has rested for two or three minutes and allowed itself to set, it won't cook through because it will start to warm up from the outside again. A little bit of mold and sea salt. So when we set the base, it's just to get the steak and just, and just allow it to gently baste in the butter. I've just flipped it over so I can season on the other side. I'm going to take the steak out, pop it onto the board. So we're going to cut our steak from this end. And there you can see it's nice and medium rare. And then just with our red wine sauce over the top. And there's your sirloin steak with a little bit of red wine sauce, just medium rare, and hopefully beautiful and tender, ready for you to eat. Thank you.